I would imagine that the ones with greater physical prowess um, have greater ability to attract females. Uh, in to some degree, because in chimpanzees, the smallest male can become the alpha male. So how does that happen? You mentioned and, that. And, and that, that, that is because it, is all, it also takes, it is based on coalitions. So it's a political system. My first book was Chimpanzee Politics. Right. Uh, the males form coalitions. And as a result, to become an alpha male, you need some buddies who support you. And it's, in, it's also good to have female support. So, so you need some diplomatic skills to get there. Uh, and if, if, you, um, if you are a loner, you may get to the top uh, purely based on your physical strengths. And that's sometimes why the, these bullies come to the top and they are hyper aggressive. Um, but most alpha males that I have known get there by a political process where they have buddies who support them and they need to keep the, them happy. So they need to be tolerant to them. They need to let them mate with females. They need to share food with them. They need to groom them. Uh, and, and that's how they keep them as friends. That is so interesting. So they're, they're doing very, what we would attribute as, as human-like qualities. They're very charismatic. They're mm -hmm. generous, um, selfless, responsible. Yeah. Um, and that's how they elevate um, the, the male hierarchy. Um, yeah. And actually, so in your experience with primates, would you say the bully tactic is less favorable to this sort of charisma, likable Fella. Yeah, the bully tactic, uh, uh, th there are reports from the wild, there are now about 12 reports, I believe, of alpha males who have been killed by their group in chimpanzees. And uh, I think if, if you're a bully alpha male, then the group is basically waiting for an occasion. That there will be a challenger, a younger male who challenges you, and the group is ready to get rid of you. And, and then they support the challenger and it may be dangerous for you. They may either expel you to the fringes of their territory or they, they may kill an individual like that. And in captivity that happens also sometimes. And the really popular leaders, so alpha males who are popular in the group, when they lose their position, they just step down a few rungs and they become number three male or number right. four male and they stay in the group and they, they become popular grandpas for the kids and things like that. And <laughs> so they have, they have a good life. They're not at the top anymore. And, and young males actually, there's now a report from the wild your adolescent males, they like to hang out with these older guys. They probably pick up good behavior oh. from them. And so these, these ex-leaders and ex-alphas, they, they hang out with them. Yeah. The younger males like yeah. to associate with these former alpha males. Yeah, because they are not dangerous. They're not into competition. They're not going to beat them up. And, and so they are good, good objects for them to hang out with. That's so interesting. <laughs> it's like that, that fatherly wisdom that they can sort of pass down or yeah, like yeah. a grandpa type role yeah, yeah. Um, from, from the older males there.